So before I actually like kind of started my my spiritual journey, I would say when I was like 19. Um, before when I was depressed, I think I would I would, I would always do art. I was I would always go to art. I loved art, always drawing, painting. Um, so I, yeah, I would go to art. You know, playing my guitar, writing poetry. Sometimes I would just write out what I'm feeling too. Like it wouldn't have to rhyme or anything. I would just get my thoughts out on paper and you know rip them up later, throw them away because I was just like, man, I don't want anyone to know the freaking crazy thoughts in my head, you know? <laughs> crazy shit. Um, and I want to say this, not supporting it, but I used to cut myself. Um, you know, and I, I think of reasons, and they're, they're not reasons, you know, they're excuses. They're excuses to, like, inflict pain on myself and, you know, uh, I, I feel like a lot of it comes from shame, you know, like, I kind of, I kind of hate myself for some of the things that, like, I went through and gone through, and it's, it's something I have to, like, forgive myself, um, because those things were my choice, and I did what I could, but I did put myself through a lot of shit <laughs> that wasn't my fault, so yeah, when, when you're depressed, think about that too. Think that, you know, like, you don't deserve to be in this state. You know, like, this life is too fragile to waste being negative or sad. Like, and again, you know, it's fine to feel those feelings. It's okay to go through those things. You know, there's grieving, there's, you know, breakups, you know, there's different things that we have. You know, sometimes you just have to go through them. But go through them and get through it you know, seek help if you have to, and, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, counseling's this and that, and I don't want to let anyone in my head, and not like, it doesn't have to be some paid person, you know, seek a friend, seek a family member that you really, really can confide in and trust, and, you know, like, shit, even if it's your animal, you know, there's a lot of people, my cat, I used to talk to my cat a lot, and I, it's, just, it's just great, you know, to have someone there just to even if she didn't understand what, I'm, what I was saying, you know, it's someone who's there to listen to you, you know, and not judge you. And that's a big part of art for me. If I'm drawing, if I'm painting, whatever I'm expressing, whatever I'm trying to portray, this canvas isn't going to be like, oh, this is shit, you know, stop painting, <laughs> stop drawing, you know, it's, 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 ne it never judges me. Dance never judges me, it just flows. Music never judges me, it just comes out. Poetry, too. It just comes out it just is it just is so so yeah I did a lot of really bad things you know and it's you know it sucks because you're, you're already depressed you know you're already in a shitty mood and then you're going ahead and adding more on to that and it's just again going downhill you know literally like that that term literally you're walking downhill instead of uphill now what do I do when I'm depressed call a friend text a friend Check out Instagram, see what other people are doing to like, you know, progress the world, progress themselves, you know, uh, creating new things or doing new things, you know, it's like getting motivation to do things myself, you know, go outside, take a walk, take a bike ride, you know, go, go visit a new shop, you know, or go, go to the grocery store and get, get that new vegan product I haven't tried, <laughs> you know, just like little things like that, you know, uh, art always, always, art is, art has been healing me since I was a kid, and it still is to this day, uh, and I have so much to, like, I don't know, it's like, that's why I'll never give up art, because it has saved me, and I owe, it's not that I owe my life to it, but I can't see myself doing anything else, because that's, I hope to, <laughs> one day, maybe, someone comes to me, and they're like, you saved me, <laughs> and I'll be like, what, and they're like, yeah, you turned me on to this, or this and this, and you know, it's, it's been helping me, it's, and that's what I want, you know, I want other people to, to seek aid for themselves and help themselves, you know, like, we can, and, and be a resource, you know, of some sort to, to help people get to that point, that, whatever it is they, they, they want to be or get to, and so, yeah, I'll dance, too, I'll dance, I'll turn on my most favorite song, not my most favorite rock song, because it's usually kind of sad, 
<laughs> or depressing. <laughs> but a good song, you know, a good happy dance song. Maybe it's a Beatles song. Maybe it's, you know, a 70s disco song. Maybe it's instrumental. Who knows? But just something that, you know, music, music makes everything in your brain activate. So that's like a great distraction of just getting away from your feelings and getting into something else you know another energy another vibration and it affects you and when I'm dancing like I already stopped caring (laughs) it's like my body's doing something I'm having fun I'm feeling good and yeah often lately I've been trying more so to write hopeful poetry not so much being depressed and like feeling it anymore now I'm like writing of I'm writing of moving forward, you know, progressing. I'm not writing about just being in it. Before I used to be more in it. Now I'm like, I'm actively working on moving forward. And yeah, so writing helps, just writing in general. I tell everyone that, just, you know, write out, write things out, just get it out, man, like create it on paper so it's out of your head and on something else. Um, having people around is so important so 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 important and like I said again those positive people seek people that want to help you know go to people that that were when you leave you don't just feel like you took a bunch but you feel like you shared something with them you know they didn't just help you but you feel a connection with them now where it's like you know that you can go back to them another day and they're gonna be there and they're gonna be open and loving and if they ever needed something that you could do the same because you have been there yourself so you know and you can help them the same way that they just helped you and that's how we build each other together we don't break each other down openly actively listening to each other you know giving good advice not just good advice like hey there's there's always another there's more fish in the sea (laughs) but like you know really being real about it you know really thinking saying what you think and what you feel and and just you know, yeah, just be a good friend. (laughs) Good friends are good to have.